my favorite band. Those that know me know I'm crazy about the truck. I'm here with John and Jeremy from Monster Truck. Wow, so where do we start? I spoke to you guys nine months ago. So the truck was just starting to really move. All of a sudden, bam. What has the last year been like for Monster Truck? Totally unexpected and completely insane, but uh, really easy, actually. We've uh, gotten kind of used to being on the road now, and it's, it's, it, the transition was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I think it's easier for me than uh, my lady at home, but uh, it's, been, uh, it's been really good, like really, really fast moving. Like, I don't even remember the last year, to be honest with you. People are like, you remember playing this place? I'm like, no. <laughs> sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about the band getting together. For those that maybe didn't see you guys the first time you were in the box of rock with me, it sort of started out as just one of these fun projects. Like, hey, we're guys, we're playing music, we love hanging out together, we think we're making a great sound, and then something sort of happened. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it was kind of a really weird situation. We started out to try and just kind of have a band that was for ourselves, and we didn't really care about where it was going or the direction. And um, it was kind of within the first couple practices we realized that we had like something that, I don't know, for me personally, I hadn't had any other band before where I was just really, really excited about what we were doing. And, um, you know, we kind of just brought out and played a couple shows, and the reaction we were getting from the people at the shows was kind of telling us, like, you guys got to keep going, keep at it, get, get more shows, get out there. and. Um, you know, within a pretty short amount of time, we had a record out and we had like the shows were getting really big really quick and we were having to make these huge adjustments to playing in front of, you know, a lot more people in bigger rooms and um, it just got more and more fun and more and more popular and, and here we are. Yeah. And the record, I mean, is just absolutely tremendous. A true, authentic rock and roll record. So you're putting Furiosity together and as you're putting it together, are you thinking, this is really going to come out to be like this perfect piece of music. We're going to love this when it's done. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a terrible critic of anything I do. I don't, okay. I, people are always like, hey, this is awesome. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay, but we could have done this and this and this different. And it's it's kind of like, at the time, I'm like, let's just get it done. And then after the fact, I'm like, uh. But it kind of, uh, well, while we were doing it, we had no idea. We just wanted to get the best thing we could get and uh, sound the way we wanted it to sound. And I think we succeeded mostly, but uh, there's definitely some things we want to try on, on newer records, but by no means was there no any preconception that uh, this was going to be more than just something that, uh, you know, our family likes or half of Canada likes, you know? Well, you know what? You guys did succeed because everybody who hears it and all of our listeners, and I'll tell you, Jersey is tough. It's like rock and roll, you know, central here, and people will tell you if you suck. Um, and everybody's like, this band is the real deal. I mean, so it's that great, authentic rock and roll uh, that you guys are just never going to be home now because, of course, out with Buck Cherry. Then you go out with Alter Bridge. Miles Kennedy, a big fan of the band. I actually talked to him about a week ago, and we talked a lot about Monster Truck. He's a really, really big fan of yours. And then out with Alice in Chains. So what is it like? And then you guys are doing like festivals. You're doing Rock on the Range and stuff. So what is it like to be, say, playing for a festival crowd that maybe a lot of people do not know Monster Truck? You're out in front of all these people or you're out in front of all different types of fan bases with, with bands. You know, what is that like to sort of get out there and just, Wolves, here's the band. You're just getting thrown to the wolves all the time. Um, that situation to me is a lot easier than the alternative, which is, um, you know, with the kind of momentum we've gained in Canada and the kind of headlining shows we've had to do in Canada, I find that a lot more stressful because I feel like there's this expectation that we've built up um, in Canada, especially just because we've had a lot more momentum there to, to start off. When we have to go do those shows, I, it's so there's so much pressure for us to like be so good and be so on and give people the show that they've expected to come and see. Um, you know, the ticket prices are up because we're headlining and, and we're the main attraction. So playing for a crowd that's never seen us before is, to me, very easy in comparison to the alternative. And we like getting out in front of new people. We like playing new places. And uh, it's probably one of the easiest things that we, uh, that we get to do. So one word to describe the truck. Like if you had one word that you think would sort of... Uh Fuel, fuel the band. You know what would that word be, or or just from the past year? That's that's interesting. I'm gonna say curiosity. <laughs> you got the same word too. That's why we, that's why we named the record. That. Curiosity, just a tremendous record, and I am so happy for you guys. Big hug. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just a great band. 
Yes. Doing great things. Thank you. Mm. And can't wait to see you. Make sure you check them out. They're going to be rocking with Alter Bridge. And, of course, uh, going to be rocking with Alice in Chains as well, doing lots of festivals and uh, probably more touring after that. <laughs> okay. John and Jeremy from Monster Truck Inside the Box of Rock with me. Thank you, guys. Thank you.